cool. Okay. So I know uh, Matt Mogg, infinitely known as the campiest Falco <laughs> in uh, Minnesota. Really? He, he's uh, the Falco master uh, for he's, Minnesota for 2016. He's U of M, right? Because uh, he teams with a hamster. I don't think he is U of M. Oh, I, maybe he's not. Well, uh, he I just know, I just know that. Maybe, I know that maybe he is. I know that a hamster and him teamed at Smash and Splash. Oh. Because a hamster, oh, yeah, right. a, a hamster is a mod of Smash Gifts and is like a fiend posting. Like he posts Smash Gifts on that subreddit all the time. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. If you just go on like Reddit slash R Smash Gifts, you'll see his name pop up like twenty times. Mm. Nice. But I just nice. know he posted a GIF of him and Matt Mog doing a team combo. <laughs> and someone posted a GIF of me uh, getting a sweet combo on him, which is pretty great. At, uh, the, yeah, uh, yeah, send me that link, man. I want to see that. <laughs> I'll pull it up after this game. All right. It's pretty great. So game one here, we have uh, 2016's Falco Master of the Year, Matt Mog versus Little Bromeo. I don't know who Little Bromeo is. I think I've heard his name before, but Matt supposedly he plays Jigglypuff. <laughs> Matt Mog, he's kind of on the come up, isn't he? Like, yeah, I've yeah, been, he is. I've been hearing his name a lot more. He, uh, he's definitely been, in, he's been improving Ooh. a lot. He actually took a set off of Amadzi, and yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he's really good at that. Oh no! Uh oh, that's a stock. <laughs> okay, and the air dodge. Funny oh, doesn't thing. Doesn't even need to. <laughs> Matt could have totally angled that better and could have made it. It's, well, he would have had to wait a little bit longer, I think, and then, because like, I think he had the right angle, but. The trouble is you have to purposely wait like a few frames longer, you know? Yeah. So that you're you end it right at the sweet spot. It's really tough to react to. Really if like the jab back air. So uh, my my whole theory, so me and Ergo actually made this up. Uh, 2014's Falco Master was Vecklor. Mm -hmm. 2015's Falco Master was Urzak. And now we have 2016's Falco Master and Matt Law. I can see that. I can see that maybe. Um, Oh. Oh, back throw. All right. Edge guard situation. Gets that. Gets the clank. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, my God. That might make me nervous. Yeah, geez. man. That, that kind of scared me. This should be double dip. Nice. Yep. Not pal. Okay, shine. Oh. Up tilt. I'm liking the way he's playing this matchup, though. Um, he's, like, playing, he's, he's playing his safe. Yeah. But, uh,. At the same time, he's definitely having some questionable moments. Like, he's playing it well, and then uh, it's just that he's done some questionable things to the ledge, and that's pretty yeah. much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's playing neutral very well. Yep. And just uh, le ledge game, really not on point. But uh, I feel like that's a lot of Falcos, to be honest. The Falco being yeah. a character that definitely excels in the neutral game. So, uh, Matt Mog close. here is up a full stock, and he's looking to make it two stocks here. Meaning, uh, the little Bromeo, like, he's, like, putting the pressure on him right now, for yeah. sure. And he, I, he, like I said, he's playing it really well. He knows, like, just jab. Uh, oh, wow. Just throws it out. Clanks, and then just, just beats it. <laughs> just like, yeah, screw your move. But Bromeo almost is falling off the ledge. You know, these, these weak hit aerials, man. Oh, wow. Calls him out with the forward smash. Yeah, I mean, he had just put a forward air above him, so there wasn't mm -hmm. much he could do. Yeah. So, man, you know one thing I've noticed? Little Bromeo hasn't, I don't even think he's landed, like, I think he's only landed one grab. And, like, That's I haven't true. seen any rests at all, or no rest setups yet. Looks like he's just kind of just playing the aerial game, trying to wall him out or whatever, but that's not That's really working for oh. him. Almost losing a stock right there would have been his first game. Yeah, Matt Mug's also not overextending. It's really nice. Like, yeah. as soon as J uh, Jigs is too far away, he pulls back, which is the right way to play it. He'll he'll just keep shooting those lasers, man. That's what he's that's what he's known for. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Lil Bromi's getting a little desperate for this kill. Uh, these really weak hits. And yep, yep that's gonna be <laughs> it. Jab back here. Yeah, dude. Matt Mug's uh, getting really consistent with that. It's really good. Game one going to Matt Mogg, Spacey, all two stocks. Spacey jab is just... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. I heard it's, it's a pretty so good move. It's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's doing the run back. I don't really know about that because I feel like Puff definitely, like once it comes to like the stages, she at least has one counter pick that like she would do decently well against Falco on. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe he feels like he's got him figured out. He's going to try it again. We'll see, but uh, Matt Mogg's still off to a good start here. You know, he's just 
going in and out of his threat zone, shooting these lasers, fading back, and waiting uh, for a little Bromia to just throw out something unsafe and then react. Yeah. And that back air is going to take the first stock. Oh yeah, and uh, Matt Mog, he's pretty, he like, he's pretty good with his like ledge cancels and stuff. He does those little side B ledge cancel tricks with Falco, that's pretty flashy. Yeah. Although, like, the one from one side to the other is, I mean, I, pretty anyone, easy. anyone can do that. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Not to, you know, not to say that he doesn't have tech skill, because he clearly does. But oh, that was pretty cool. But it's pretty easy to time that. Yeah. Fox's is a lot harder. I feel, I feel like everything with Fox is just harder. <laughs> I didn't, you didn't punish that pound, but, I mean, he doesn't really need to worry too much. Oh, <gasps> oh! I thought we were going to see an up-tilt rest right there, man. Ah, little, okay, Lil Bromeo is starting Lil Bromeo is starting to get the hits, though. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like... Before, it was just a few, like, stray ones. Now he's starting to get, like, a few more... Oh. Uh, that should not work. I feel like Little Bromeo is really, like playing uh, like with no confidence right now man like he's not going for like any grabs when he's had so many opportunities to and he's not going for these like up throw rests or like back throws off the stage good grab so I'd, I'd like to see him like maybe stay even a little more grounded duck under these lasers that was really fast yeah he didn't really kill but that, no didn't kill but that was like see, see uh Urzak and Matmog are both extremely fast with their uh, shine back airs on the shield, man. It's pretty crazy. Urzak doesn't the fastest, but Matmog is he's getting there. So nice grab. Little Bromeo. Is he just gonna go for it again? Oh, oh, he missed it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna go. Like you could just see it. That yeah. He was going to, but hey, it may as well. I mean, look at like, yeah. how much you're up. It's not like yeah. you're playing Hungry Box. Yeah, I can't. Re oh, yeah, you can't rest. For a second, I was thinking, like, oh, he can't up smash, but, you know, forward yeah. smash or down tilt will kill. Lil Bromeo is pretty much just going to have to, like, play it by the ledge and try to just wow. get them. But uh, Good that stuff. back air is going to take him out. Matt Mock played that super well. Yeah, he did, man. And I think uh, I think he's pretty good at the matchup because he plays with Jobs all the time. Here we I go. don't uh, recall. Someone posted this. Me against a hamster. Sorry, we're not going to be talking. Versus oh, is it going to load? Come on. There we go. 